Okay, so I am making lunch right now, and I am using a pack of thin sliced chicken breasts, Kirkwood. They were $2 off from Aldi, so this is $1.59 for this package. I'm using the whole thing. I am just coating, I just cubed them, and I'm coating them in flour, and essentially it's not to make, lord, what is that? These kids. Um, it's just essentially so when they fry, they don't stick together. Um, I did use a little salt and a little Rufus Teague in there just because it makes it taste good. And then, of course, I have some already started here. And I'm going to throw the rest of these in as soon as I have them coated. Okay, so this is what we're having for dinner. Part of this is leftover chipotle that my mom brought and then I supplemented. So we have some pinto beans. We have chipotle rice. I think this is from green beans from Boston Market. Some of this is chipotle chicken and some of this is the chicken that I made. I have almost all chicken I made, but I have the beans and green. I have more green beans because I love them. And rice, same thing for the girls. The girls, so shockingly, last night when we were eating all one of these pinto beans, so I kind of gave them a lot, but they essentially have a little bit of everything. They also have the chicken that I made because it doesn't have any hot seasoning on it. Not that the chipotle is really hot, but uh, even a little bit of hot for them is hot. So that is what we're having for dinner. This is the leftovers from the tray I reheated, and I'm hoping that we eat all of it. And then also, doo -doo, this is the remaining chicken that I have that I cooked. This isn't the chipotle stuff. Oh, the oven's on. I probably should shut that off. Uh, so leave it open so that is the update on the lunchtime dinner meal the big meal we have with chris so i'm gonna come back and attack this rice because it's super good all right so it's two o'clock and the dominion people are here the gas man is here to check the gas of course At least everybody's wearing pants of some type. She's just so sweet looking, isn't she? But of course, the gas man's gonna be here, so I'm gonna have to open the door for him. Not for long. Well, that was fast. Like, I feel like it was like less than a minute that guy was here, which is was like how it was last time. Essentially, they go down and like do a reading of the air around the meter to make sure that there's like no leaking gas. I had to pick her up and flip her around. Oh, I love this baby. Oh. What is she doing? She's having a nap. What are you doing? Messy. That's how it goes at nap time. Show the people what you have there. Chest. Well, hold on. Let's stop and turn it because there's writing on it. I want you to show them what you're using as chap stick. Hold on. Here. So, are you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> it's a travel size hoopery. She got. She's not spraying it, but she keeps rubbing the cap on her lips. super hilarious so it's nap time and I'm grateful for it <sighs> just have a minute to get myself together and enjoy my little sweet babies while they're still little sweet babies <coughs> and kisses for you too okay guys now <laughs> My little chapstick for the day. This, my dear baby, has a cheese. Okay, so today I am still working in my kitchen. I'm not doing like the fly lady zone thing, but it, it's kind of working out that way because I'm just keep working in this kitchen, and keep cleaning stuff. So today my project is the, the one thing in the kitchen that I just hate the most. Like, like we're going to have some serious confession time. So 
If you're going to be judgy, you might want to take the judgy hat off. Because we be nice here. And know that I am sharing this with you in the best of... Just... I'm standing in my truth. It is what it is, so... The one place that I hate, hate, hate to clean, and that I, in fact, avoid cleaning, and it's kind of a joke in my family that I clean it once a year. Yeah, and it's gross like that. It's once a year, right before Thanksgiving. This is it. So this is my number one most hated job. It's the stove top. And the reason is, this, these grates form a solid surface so there's no like easily wipeable place you have to disassemble it every single time you have to touch it which is yucky so there's all these chunks yeah uh, I'm not ready for that yet boogie uh yeah they get gross um so I'm gonna yeah no don't wipe it on your shirt wipe it on the towel so I'm gonna clean this today and my effort I'm, I'm going to make an effort to continuously clean it so that it is not a nasty job also, over here, you will see, this is uh, another place that just doesn't get cleaned. You can see that also there is a plastic on the wall. This is on top of and separate from the lovely gingham wallpaper um, that you can see remains in the stove alcove. And all three of these walls, one, two, three, have this shiny plastic. It's meant to keep it clean, but it doesn't. It gets dirty. Hmm? People up. Not today, but we are going to move this and pull that wallpaper off. And are you going to help when we pull that wallpaper? Mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, my job is going to be to clean this bad boy today and maybe this wall section too. So it's 418. We'll see how long this takes. Okay, so uh, all three of us scrubbed this, and it looks about a thousand times better. It's still a little wet, except for like you can hear, you can kind of see where there's, it's not a hundred thousand percent clean, nor did I, oh god, I didn't even work on that. Maybe another day, I don't know. But um, I am working my way through, this is still like cruddy. I'm going to get a credit card and, and work on that maybe a little bit. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to show you something. You would think, oh, she's been cleaning that stove. It's been really nasty. 
Nope. Kids got the mascara. I just wrestled the baby. If you think I'm dirty, you should see her. Okay. It's it's just everywhere. Show him your hand. Mascara. Turn, show your hand. Hold your arm out. Hold your arm out this way. Hold your arm up. Yeah, it's like... Everywhere. I guess we're having a bath tonight. It's all like down the rest of her like that too. Like... Alright folks, it is getting to be the end of the night and it's five minutes before bedtime. Do we look extra clean? Because we just got our bath. Our hair is freshly oiled. Mmm, you smell good. Boo boo? Boo boo. Do you want to say hi, Evelyn? Look here. Hi. No, you. And look, you got pretty hair. Stop. You're going to monkey that. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone thought that was pretty darn funny. She is freshly bathed and oiled as well. So <laughs> That just goes sum up my evening.